hello teachers and anyone else who is interested in distance learning I've just discovered a very useful website called liveworksheets.com it's unique because unlike many other websites it offers free subscription until the end of 2021 so first of all what you need to do you need to create an account as a teacher here I've already created an account so you just might go on and register and then let's log in into that website and here you can see your subscription plans that was a really that was a real surprise when I discovered that all these features so we're not talking about schools now we're talking about teachers now so as you can see that the most powerful subscription here subscription plan the most powerful subscription plan here is teacher 1000 includes 1000 students 500 credit worksheets worksheets sorry different groups workbooks I'll talk about how to create a workbook later uh, we don't know to we don't need to link any other teachers so this this plan will suit our, our needs right and you can even add your own logo okay let's try and subscribe that's it my subscription has been updated now uh, let's create a class so, my students here and I've already created a class of students here but I'm going to create another one so let's do it together uh, actually classes are also known as groups here okay so it will be grade 5 then just for the sake of this practice exercise I'm going to and another class grade seven and when you have created as many classes or as many groups as you want it's time to add a student or multiple students to your classes to your groups uh, you can add students manually uh, you will need to create their names, usernames and passwords or you can just invite your students using the link. But my experience shows that if you create, if you invite a student using this link they will have to self-register and they will probably forget their passwords in a couple of days so if you have students uh, I think it's younger students young learners they tend to forget their passwords so in that case you may want to use in that case you may want to use this possibility of adding students manually and then you will have the records of their passwords so that when any of your students forgets their password you can simply remind them of their password but actually I prefer my students to take care of their password themselves so I'm going to invite my students using this link here so you copy this link and then you can just share this link with your students